We need to make Salem's Library earthquake safe for the children and all the rest of us who love and use the library. My daughter went to the public library all the time in elementary, middle, and high school, so this is personal to me. The Salem Library was built in the early 70s, I believe it was, before modern earthquake standards were established. It's not earthquake ready. So with all the shelving and the concrete structure, it'd be real bad if a big earthquake hit Salem, right? Bad for the library? For sure. Uh, we've been told that we've got to prepare for the big one, the Cascadia subduction zone earthquake that is a matter of when, not if. A 2015 New Yorker article, the really big one, said, when the next full margin rupture happens, that region will suffer the worst natural disaster in the history of North America. That region is, is us, the Pacific Northwest, Oregon and Washington. Along with the library, City Hall at the Civic Center also is unprepared for a major earthquake. It would likely would collapse in the big one. In 2013, City Manager Linda Norris said, the way it is right now, city employees wouldn't even be able to get out of the building alive, much less use the building. So in 2013, thereabouts, uh, the city of Salem, city officials uh, laid plans for a new police facility. Here it is shown on the actual site where it's planned to be now, the O'Brien, old O'Brien dealerships north of downtown. You can see that it was projected the whole project was projected to cost $56 million, and uh, about 15, 16 million of that was for city hall upgrades, meaning seismic reinforcing of city hall. Back then, they thought the police facility should be 75,000 square feet. A right-sized and properly designed public safety facility for our community needs to be about 75,000 square feet in size, spread over no more than three floors to function best in keeping Salem safe said city officials. But in 2015, a Blue Ribbon Task Force upped the size from 90,000 to 106,000 square feet of the new police facility as shown in purple. Green is the original 75,000 square foot size. And now after some Chicago consultants were hired, the desired size of the police facility is 148,000 square feet. So now the price of the supersized 148,000 square foot police facility has ballooned to $83 million. And now there's no money for the seismic retrofitting of City Hall or the library. The city officials don't even talk about it anymore because all the cash is going for the police facility. So let's go back and take another look at that 2013 or thereabouts cost estimate. We see the total project, including seismic upgrades, earthquake proofing, was $56 million. And of that, the uh, city hall upgrades and was $16 million. So that's $40 million that the police facility was costing, and now it's 83, more than doubled. Now I've heard some city officials, city councilors, say that there isn't really a cost estimate for what it would take to earthquake proof the library and city hall, but the, here it is, right in a staff report, from the city, $26.6 million. Partly that cost estimate is based on a 2014 report assessment of the library by a engineering firm. That report has all kinds of scary stuff in it, aside from the obvious structural problems of a concrete structure that isn't built to an earthquake standard. Uh, here we have the toppling hazard of bookshelves. The uh, fire suppression system isn't braced, so it can be unusable when it's most needed. The gas piping doesn't have flexible coupling, so that can cause a fire hazard and where that could cause more damage than the structural damage from an earthquake. So it's pretty damn obvious that we need to do something. I mean, it's damn obvious to everybody except the mayor and the city council who are sitting on their butts and not willing to put any money or effort into doing the seismic upgrades to City Hall and the library because their whole focus is on getting taxpayers to pay the $83 million for the oversized and overpriced police facility. And what they think we should do, I don't know, maybe put up posters like this of a cute kitten saying, warning, this building is not safe in the event of an earthquake. That's 
just not good enough. So we all need to tell the mayor and city council that it's not good enough. We need seismic upgrades to City Hall and the library. Email them at citycouncil at cityofsalem.net. I feel really strongly about this because I don't want children and other people dying in the Salem Library when the big one earthquake hits. And I know you don't either.